the cage. I can see it. I can see the life I want to live. But there's something stopping me, which I can't forgive. I'm trapped in this cage and I feel so restrained. I want to be better, but I'm shackled. I'm chained. The restraint that I feel is too much to bear. It doesn't even matter what clothes I wear. I'm chained to you, body dysmorphic disorder. And the things you say to me are like a, a broken recorder. You're so fat. You're so ugly. You make children cry. You're deformed, you're hideous. You deserve to die. For so long you said this, and so I believed that if I was to disappear, the world would be relieved. The cage is my body, scratched at and picked. They tell me to stop, but I'm an addict. With my hand down my throat and tears in my eyes, look what I do because of your lies. Let me out, let me out. I kick and scream. I'm out of the cage. Is this but a dream? I'm no longer anxious, nauseous or numb. I appreciate the human that I've become. I have marks on my body where the shackles once were, but I'm adamant. Self-hatred will not recur. For I'm out of the cage. And my body is healing. And this freedom I have is a wonderful feeling. Yeah, great feeling. Feel like top of the world. So uh, what does it feel like for your words to be out for other people to hear? What impact do you think you can have? Um, I mean, initially it's exposing, very exposing, but what I want from it is for people to relate. I want people to realise that body image and eating disorders aren't the vain disorders that people think they are. They are a mental health illness, just like everything else. And I think it also, my poem makes... Um, it acknowledges the comorbidities that can come with a single diagnosis. So I think it's important to sort of open the discourse of categorisation within psychiatry as well. You know, we're not just a label, we don't fit into a neat DSM box. We're people as well, and we have voices. <laughs>